Hello everyone and welcome to Tech channel. Today we have a special package from Seed or Seed Studio. Uh, Seed as their motto says the IoT hardware enabler. They provide a wide variety of electronic products like development boards, uh, sensors, actuators, uh, robots or tools or everything related to electronics. You can check all of this from the link right below. And Seed Studio were too kind to offer me a coupon and they had to choose something from their store. It just arrived today, as you can see it's still closed. The shipping was actually pretty fast considering that there was a holiday, like a new lunar year holiday. And it's uh, pretty long, like uh, two weeks. So let's see what's inside this box, or you probably know from the video title. So let's proceed to the opening of this package. It's my first time doing an unboxing video. Okay, the package looks uh, nice. Very well fake. Too much bubble wrap to play with. Okay, so those are like our two products. First is a speech recognizer, and this is what we're gonna use today. And the other one is a light sensor. We're gonna leave it for a later project. And the packaging looks like pretty nice, as you can see, too much bubble wrap. And let's proceed to open them. So let's open it and see what's inside. So we have the module itself with a cable, it's a groove cable. This module is a groove speech recognizer. And here we have like a little description. So before we start anything, let's check first the page of the product. Here as you can see groove speech recognizer and here you have like the pictures of the product. Also an idea of the size of the product or the exact size of the product. And here we have a little description of the product, what it is and what you can use it for and voltage and everything. And here what I like is this uh, area, learn, you can press like uh, read more. And here we are in the wiki of the Seed Studio which is very nice. Here you can learn a lot about the module and as you can see some applications idea Internet of Things, Smart House and Robot and everything like the features and platform like here as today we're gonna use it with our Arduino Uno as usual and like specification of the, of the module like working voltage and the current and the everything here also you have like uh, the parts in the of the module which is nice also here we have some commands as you can see it has 22 command and this area like it's uh, pretty much important because the voice recognition actually is uh, pretty tricky to perform so most of the modules you'll have or uh, like uh, around the $20 or $30 they have a built-in command like a limited number of built-in command so this one has 22 and if you can see like sometimes in some tutorials that uh, people program their own uh, voice recognition those are actually modules that need to be constantly 
plugged in the computer and the whole like uh, voice recognition uh, processing is done in, uh, by the computer but this one and it has only like a, a 22 command but the whole processing is done inside the module which make it like easy to embed in a project like a robot or something and also there are like, uh, some uh, very advanced uh, voice recognition modules but they are like uh, very pricey so this one is a good one to start with and here you have like idea how to connect it and also you have like a code that you can test which is pretty nice so we're gonna wire it with our Arduino Uno and let's check what this module can do so the first thing I'm gonna do is just copy this exact code that I found in the wiki this one and I'm gonna upload it to my Arduino and wire my module and test it and this code as you can read here it just shows the command on the serial monitor so first let's wire our module if you have like a groove sensor shield it will be very simple but that's not a problem we're gonna use it with just some uh, jump wires to wire it with our Arduino also the wiring you can read it from the website too So we're gonna do it with just jump wires here we have ground vcc d3 and d2 those are the the, the x r x we're gonna use so Arduino, uh, sorry, ground from the Arduino, 5 volt, and as I said, D3 and D2, D2 sorry, to use. Uh, so let's upload the code. I downloaded it from the website too, uh, sorry, I copied it from there, and it's the first time I'm testing it with you now. Okay, let's compile the code. The desktop for the moment, okay. Code school, let's upload it to the Arduino board. Okay, it's done uploading now. Let's test it. So, the module is already powered, and I uploaded the code. So, you should open your serial monitor. And first thing you should say before any command, you should say hi cell. The problem is that it should recognize like your accent and your voice and sometimes it can be very tricky. Hi cell. Hi cell. Hi cell. Up. Hi cell. Hi cell. Down. Hi cell. Turn on the TV. Hi, Sal. Hi, Sal. So before we proceed, I want to tell you that actually the module is compatible with this type of speakers, two wires speakers, this little one, like around one or two watt, and until like three watt, no problem. And you can use it with this module and it will uh, say the command you just said like if you want to say it like uh, turn on the light or something it will say here turn on the light and don't forget it has two ports negative and positive one so you must know which one it is it, this one is a positive on the, on the top here near the speaker and the ground is this one I said Turn on the TV. Turn on the TV. Hi, sir. Go. Go. Hi, sir. Turn on the light. Turn on the light. 
Now let's pass to a small like uh, little project. I'm gonna wire some LEDs with this Arduino. They are already here. Okay, so here I have some LEDs. They are already <coughs> sorry. They are already in the red world. I'm gonna wire them with Arduino, and I already prepared the code. So this is lights with seven. This one here. other one here and we're gonna test some commands so first let's check the code I prepared so here like I kept these things you can keep them or remove them but just I didn't want to lose track of the command so the command they are uh, they have numbers from like 1 to 22 and here I defined some my LEDs so here I have a red yellow and green and then some lights there they are uh, uh, red and but I declared them as just uh, light so here what it is and just detect the number of the command if the command is equal 1 or 2 and those correspond to these uh, commands turn on the light or turn off the light then we have the other comments which are like uh, 20 and 21 20 and 21 are just a mod, mod 1 or mod 2, you can see them later Hi sir Turn on the light Hi sir Turn off the light Turn off the light I sell mode one. I sell mode two. I said start I said right I said left I said start and yes you can use this module to control like uh, this uh, classic robots that use uh, DC motors I have this one that uses uh, two DC motors and they are controlled by uh, dual H Ridge. It's the L298 and it's the, it's very simple. Just uh, Arduino board and my battery and the module to control the DC motors and the voice recognition module to control the the robot. And as you can notice, they have like built-in command adapted for home automation, like uh, turn off the light or turn off the light, uh, temperature, turn on TV, and then for robots, they have like go, start, stop, uh, right, left. So it's easy to adapt to your uh, project. Uh, each command has its number, so you just associate the number with the action you want. So for this just control like the speed, uh, no sorry we don't control speed here, uh, we control just like the direction. So that's it for this module and again thanks to Seed Studio for sending me or for offering me their coupon, it's very useful. And in next project I'll make use of the other module maybe. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe and see you next time. <laughs>